Hey guys, it's Micah and today I'll be telling you about the vinyl distortion effect in Ableton Live. The vinyl distortion effect emulates some of the typical distortions that occur on vinyl records during playback. These distortions are caused by geometric relationships between the needle and the recorded groove. The effects also feature a crackle generator for adding noisy artifacts. This vinyl distortion has three main sections. You've got your tracing model, your pinch, and then your crackle. This drive control has to do with your tracing model and your pinch. This tracing model section adds even harmonic distortion to the input signal. You can adjust the amount of distortion with this drive knob, or you can use this tracing model gain and increase it. You can also see this little yellow circle go up. You can also click and drag it with your mouse and change it. Now you can also change the frequency by dragging left and right. And if you want to change this B, you can change it over here, which is your bandwidth, or you can click Alt on your keyboard and drag it and you can see the bandwidth change. The pinch effect section adds odd harmonics to the input signal. These distortions typically occur 180 degrees out of phase, creating a richer stereo image. The pinch effect has the same controls as the tracing model, but generates a very different sound. I am using extreme examples here so that you can hear the effect a bit better. So down here you've got your pinch gain, which is like your tracing model gain over here. And then your frequency and your bandwidth, which here is called B. And then of course your drive control, which determines the drive of both of them. You've also got these on-off switches, so you can decide to switch the tracing model off or the pinch off, vice versa, depending on which kind of distortion sound you want. And then we get to our crackle section, which adds crackle. You can increase the volume with this over here. You can hear the crackles come up and also the density. You can also hear some air is coming in. I really like this crackle. Even if I stop the audio, you can still hear the crackle. I know Isotope has a free crackle plugin. I'll link you down below. And I've used that in the past, but I find that this crackle one is just a little bit less predictable. The Isotope crackle one, you can kind of hear that it's a little crackle machine. Now I almost forgot, there's a stereo and a mono rectangle over here. And these switches determine whether the pinch distortion occurs in stereo or mono. Now if pinch is off like it is now, it's not going to make a difference, but if your pinch is on and your audio is playing, you can choose whether this effect and only this effect is in stereo or mono. The soft and hard mode are two distortion modes and they simulate different kind of sounds. The soft mode simulates the sound of a dub plate, while hard mode is more like that of a standard vinyl record. And that's it for Vinyl Distortion. If you're into lo-fi hip-hop, I've been completely eating up all those music playlists online and just listening to that when I'm not making music myself. So if you're into that, this crackle is really great. But also for ambient music or sound design, try pairing it with a grain delay and you'll get some really interesting results. And guys, we've just learned all of the audio effects in Ableton Live. You can check out the playlist over here. Next up, I'm going to be going through all the instruments in Ableton Live, which will conclude our series of making tutorial videos throughout the whole Ableton Live manual. So thanks so much for watching and being part of it. If I had no viewers, I probably wouldn't have gotten this far, so thank you so much. I will see you guys soon in the next one.